Hey family, how's everybody doing this evening? It's good to be here sharing another video with you guys. I know it's been about maybe a week or two. Um, I had made a promise with the Lord that I wasn't going to go forth unless he really spoke and told me to go and share something. And he definitely did that. Um, so I have some things that I want to share with you guys. It's very important and which is very interesting because I got just just had confirmation to go and share this or another confirmation that he wanted me to go and share this as I was about to uh, make this video. I was actually recording um, and then I, I stopped it and, and started recording over. But when I was recording the first time, a car alarm went off. As I was speaking so I took that as sound the alarm so confirmation received so anyway this past week um, or two weeks since I've um, took a break and and pause as the Lord told me to do as he wanted me to draw near to him and just kind of um, spend some time with him and, and he was having me grow and he's been allowing me to spend time with other brothers and sisters and communicate communicate and connect with them and um and, and it's just been a very uh busy time but growing and and learning and you know as we should be doing always but uh it i've i've been he's been showing me a lot of different things and I wanted to show you guys, I wanted to share these things with you guys, but like I said, um, I promised that I wouldn't go out and speak unless he to really told me to speak. So, um, these things I want to share with you now, uh, recently I've been going over, going um, through with the Lord about the uh, three days of darkness. And... A, a lot of other things with that that he was giving me dreams about and I was reading and studying this morning and praying and I noticed that a lot of the dreams that he's recently showed me all are spoken about in Joel in the book of Joel and as I started going through these things it, it was just it was very apparent that and, and then by the time I got done in my study time and prayer time on communion with the Lord, I knew I had to go and share these, these things with you guys. So let's get to this. So on September 3rd, um, I had a dream where I, I had a word spoken and I heard schedule a conference meeting. So I kind of let that go for a little bit. And as I said, I was I was reading and studying today, and Joel one fourteen popped up. So Joel one fourteen says, "Announce a time of fasting. Call the people together for a solemn meeting. Bring the leaders and all the people of the land into the temple of the Lord your God and cry out to Him there." So he told me, this is what he was telling me to do, to go online, make a video, or speak to whoever I need to, tell them, tell the saints that we need to meet, we need to fast, the Lord wants us to fast, he wants us to come together in the spirit because that is what we will be doing. I mean, we might be coming together um, physically too, but or naturally too, but supernaturally, if we all come into a fast together, we will be meeting together in the spirit supernaturally. And so another um, exam another confirmation of that was Joel 2, 15, 6, 15 to 16 which says, blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, 
gather the children and the, those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. So let's break this down real quick. So blowing the trumpet in Zion. This is the video that he just had me make when I was warning everyone where he told me, warn them, warn them. This was blowing the trumpet. Um, so the elders, as he says, assemble the elders in this verse. The, el the elders represent the mature Christians eating the meat. Then he says, gather the children and those that suck the breast. This is, this are, these are the baby Christians drinking milk. So he's saying, doesn't matter who you, whether you're mature or a, new, a baby newborn Christian, everybody needs to come together right now and, and pray and fast and come to him right now. And so the bridegroom coming out of um, his chamber, plus the bride coming out of the closet, this is Jesus coming out of the throne room and the saints coming out of their prayer closets, per se, or the secret place, their secret place, meeting together in the spiritual tent of meeting or the mercy seat. So I was just speaking about the mercy seat with um, Brother Kevin uh, a couple days ago or so. So then this brings me to September 5th. I heard in a dream, I throw myself down. So I was, it's just, this was me speaking to the Lord. I said, I throw myself down and I knew I was at the mercy seat in this dream. So what I was saying was that I come before God humbly, throwing myself down, surrendering myself to him at his feet as he sits upon the mercy seat. And this is where, um, they would meet with God where he would uh, manifest himself um, in the tent where um, in the in the Holy of Holies above the mercy seat. And um, Joel one thirteen says, gird yourselves and lament ye priests, how ye ministers of the altar come lie all night in sackcloth, ye ministers of my God. For the meat offering and the drink offering is withholden from the house of your God. So when it's saying, lament ye priests and um, lie all night in sackcloth, this is coming, this is throwing yourself down. As I was saying, I throw myself down at the mercy seat. This is me, this is him talking about coming humbly, coming to him humbly. And this this is what it means when he says to come in sackcloth and mourning is to come to him meek and humbly. So then Joel 2 12 says, therefore also now saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. Again, talking about throwing yourself down to him at his feet and coming to him humbly. At the mercy seat, surrendering yourself to him completely. So, um, then I had a dream uh, on September 5th as well, where uh, this dream is, is I'm going to try to go through this as quick as possible and then explain everything. So, in the dream, I went to Wawa to get coffee. There's There was only... Um, there was no more 20 ounce cups. Usually I get a 20 ounce cup. So there was no 20 ounce cups left, but there were 20 ounce bags. Like they were, there were these little bags that um, we were to use um, instead of the cups. And I was waiting in line to put coffee in my bag um, in this long line, um, you know, of other people that were getting coffee and putting them in their bags. And then it changes and it turns into being in line in school 
and I was um in the hallway getting ready to go. I was in line to go to my locker, and uh, everybody that was in line, we were all trying to get to our lockers. So, um, I noticed while I was in line that everybody is cleaning their lockers out. So all the lockers are open. Every single locker that's in front of me is open, and everybody's waiting in line one by one, going to their locker to clean out their locker, get all their stuff out. I noticed that someone had previously had opened these lockers, like they were all open, so I knew somebody had already came and opened these lockers up for everybody. And I knew they had been open so that we could just go and clean out our things because we were leaving very soon and the school was going to be closing. I thought that was great in a dream because I couldn't remember my locker combina combination. Then it changed and we were all leaving, but we were outside now walking through the forest. And there were these gigantic trees all around us. And it was like real beautiful, like this enchanted looking forest. And I noticed um, it seemed like we were in like a family reunion because um, like the, and the family reunion had just finished or something like that. And because um, I could see different family members, uh, like actual family members and uh, family members of my wife's fa uh, family that were uh, walking with us. And then um, at some point while we were walking, I saw this rope hanging from a tree or tied around a tree, one or the other. And I, I remember I went and grabbed it and I like I ran as fast as I could and grabbed it. And jumped and as I did that I started swinging around the tree and it was like I like if you've ever seen like spider-man swinging on a web I was it was just like that like I'm swinging around this tree like I'm swinging on a web and like I was like moving myself almost like I was flying like it was it was kind of weird but then uh then this weird part happened and um I had saw one of my aunts get grabbed by this tentacle and pulled into the into the trees and like I didn't see her anymore but then some little girl I was talking to this little girl and she was telling me that that my aunt was found dead in a cave from the tentacle creature melting her or something like that and um she said there were other types, other types of this creature around, and it, and it like kind of creeped me out. But I feel that that part might have to do with speaking about uh, demons or something like that. But anyway, so the coffee, um, the coffee in the cup, that represents the drink offering poured in a cup, like as how like we when when the lord pours his spirit into us it's like referred to in in the bible as pour he pours into our cup he overflows our cup so um drink offerings were poured into a cup like so we offer ourselves that's us offering ourselves and as this in and Joel was speaks about how the drink offering is cut off so that was why there were no more cups. There were no more cups to pour the coffee in. Then the coffee in the bag is offering ourselves in sackcloth. As Joel's talking about, um, the Lord is telling us to come and come together in sackcloth in mourning. And um, because when you think about coffee bags, have you ever seen like those old coffee bags they're they're like burlap burlap bags which is sackcloth that's exactly what it is and the lord connected it um that to me this morning so then the locker scene the locker scene is us gathering all uh, gathering all our things in haste so that we can get out of there and go because we know we got to go soon because whatever's coming whatever's happening is about to happen and we got to go and then the forest scene that's talking about us going into the wilderness or the place prepared for us or the place of refuge. So then September 9th, I had a dream connected all to this again. So 
I was sitting in a room like a restaurant with my friend Brandon and Ruben, my wife Janice, and a lot of other friends. We were all sitting at this table eating together. And um, I asked one of the girls about something and then she says that my show wasn't good. Then I re remember I had like a vision. I saw that I had hosted this TV show some time before this. And then I had told her that that it's okay that it wasn't good. Um, because I, I wouldn't have known unless I tried it. So then Brandon was ordering food. And he asked if anyone wanted anything. I said, I guess I would have a cheese steak. And a few others ordered things too. Then Brandon, he wanted to move the table. He, and he moved the table um, closer to the TV. Um, so we had something to watch. Or at least that's what I thought why he moved it. I knew, remember seeing something was on the TV, but I don't remember what it was. Then we were wondering why it was taking so long for the food to get there. So then... Um, one of the girls had said she was on the phone with the people that we were ordering the food from. And then everybody told me to take the phone. So I took the phone um, and when I got on the phone, I noticed there was music playing. So I had asked uh, the girl if they had put her on hold. Then a few, as I was saying that, like a few seconds later, I saw that the delivery guy had, was already there. Even while I was still waiting on hold, or thought I was on hold, um, the delivery guy had already came. And um, he had this big brown paper bag that had our food in it. And that brown paper bag stood out to me for some reason. And I'll explain that to you in a second. So, um, all the food was passed out, and then we started to eat. And as I was looking at my sandwich, it looked more like a burger, like a a, a a patty like a, a patty of meat and it looked not cooked all the way like it looked like it was raw um and i had thought about putting it in like the microwave or heating it up or something like that but i had just took a bite anyway i had ate it anyway and i was hoping that it wasn't gonna that i wasn't gonna get sick then later in the dream um I was I was sitting on on the the toilet with the upset stomach and I had diarrhea. So that part sounds really gross, but it's actually very relevant and I'll explain that to you. So the brown paper bag that I had saw the delivery man bring. The delivery man is representing um God, representing um an angel or Jesus himself and as God delivers us so the brown paper bag is representing the sackcloth again that's the brown bag that's this all these dreams were relevant to each other um talking about being in sackcloth and um so that's coming in sackcloth and coming together to God and fasting and in prayer and then how I I had ordered the cheese steak so the cheese is the milk and the steak is the meat which is the word of God so I ordered the word of God to eat and the uncooked meat why I saw it uncooked that was representing it being the raw word of God or in other words, directly coming from God. So God was telling me he was giving me this word directly from him um, to eat. And then I had the diarrhea. And that was representing me spitting the word out. And it's like if you've ever heard of diarrhea of the mouth, you just spit, spit out, just keep talking, keep talking. So... Um, confirmation of that is Ezekiel 3, 1 to 4, which says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. 
So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. So that's everything that he gave me. And this is why I had to make this video. Because like I said, I wasn't going to make anything or share anything in this way unless he told me to speak. And very clearly, he told me to go and speak. So guys, I 100% believe that this is a time of fasting, a time of prayer that the Lord wants us to come together, unify in his spirit, meeting with him so that he can prepare us and direct us in his will so whatever you want if you've all maybe you're already um fasting or you're about to go to a come to a fast but whatever you whoever you can speak to whoever you can share this with please do so because i i, re I really feel this is something the lord wants us to do he wants us all to come together right now in his spirit unify and come to him humbly mourning in sackcloth fasting and pray the most important thing is we really need to pray we, we really need to humble ourselves and that's what the point of fasting is is humbling yourself um, you know coming to him with a humble heart um you know giving up something so that he can replace that with his spirit and and with what his, his will is for you to receive so with that said guys god bless you and hopefully i'll talk with you soon